What's good, YouTube? It's Angel Doesn't Miss. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, all that stuff. Follow all my social medias down in the description below. And today we're going to do a day in the life of the deployed military member. I'm in the Air Force. I'm an airman, so I live in the airman dorms. This is what they kind of look like. It's the barracks. You can call it whichever you like. But it's really just where we live at. Uh, the living standards here or the living situation here is not uh as great but it can be worse you know what i'm saying it can't be worse it can't be better uh if i go to step into where i actually live this is what it looks like now in this video i'm gonna show you as much as i can i kind of got a whisper because everyone is sleeping right now people work different shifts so if i walk in here this is what it looks like This is my room. Mm -hmm. Just like that. You mind being on camera? I'm about to just show this room real quick. Huh? You mind being on camera? I'm about to show this room real quick. All right. So this is how the rooms look like. Yup. I'm about to be leaving out here. We get little wall lockers. Yup. Just like that. So, it looks like you can have up to four people <laughs> to a room, which that would suck. Right now, there's only two of us, so that's pretty cool. But, yeah, you got three wall lockers and then two bunk beds. So, that's it for the room, the living situation. Now, if you're a higher ranking, your living situation is different. So, if you're a higher ranking, you're not going to live like this. Uh, you get your own bathroom. As you've seen in there, we ain't even get our own bathroom. Let me show you what we got to do every night when we got to take a piss, where we got to use the bathroom, take a shower, whatever it is. We got to walk about a mile. And so it feels like every day just to use the bathroom. So those late night pisses, uh, you got to take a piss late at night. Uh, yeah, you're going to be walking a while. Um, yeah, I'm going to stop the video and then pick up when, when I'm at the bathroom because... It takes a while. Hold on. Boom! Finally at the bathroom. It's categorized by male and female. It just looks like little buildings with a bunch of showers and, uh, you know, toilets in it. We also have porta bodies around base. But let's go see what it looks like so y'all can get a glimpse of what the bathrooms look like. So it took me about 20 minutes to get here. It'll take you one minute in video. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead and take a look real quick. I'm trying to make this video as detailed as possible so the next deployed y'all can kind of get a glimpse of what you're going to walk into you know so the showers is over here yup you take a shower together not not literally together but you know what i mean <laughs> in the same building so yeah at least they got shower curtains that's pretty cool but all right now let's uh now let's go to where we wash our clothes <laughs> So I'm taking you from start to finish. And then at the end of this video, I'm actually going to do an overview of my overall experience. I'm just trying to take a tour around the base pretty much. So what you, you're going to see when you first get here, you know? So this is the laundry room. Boom, right there. You can see that? Yup. And this is it. Now, what kind of sucks here is most of these laundries or these washing machines and dryers, they don't work. So you kind of got to wait for a while just to wash and dry your clothes so that sucks but at least you get to wash and dry your clothes at least you get to see beautiful washing machines and drying machines you know but, but yeah you'll, you'll walk into some of them and it'll be like that so they just don't work now let's just take a walk around let's go to the defect y'all want to see what the defect look like that'll be good let's go y'all we are about to be at the defect the dining facility here or the place where you eat here isn't that bad you do need a mask because there is a pandemic going on and uh the air force or the military in general uses all prevention prevention measures 
to prevent the COVID of spreading, you know what I'm saying? So you go in here, like mass fire. Oh yeah. All right, now, when you first, this is what the defect looks like, you see that long line? But they usually have a wide selection, but when the COVID hit or the Corona hit, um, kind of had a lesser, lesser amount of food. At one point I was eating MREs, but they also have like regular food now. But before you actually go into where you get your food at, you have to wash your hands. All right, so I'm gonna wait in this long line just so you can see the food that they got today. Like our defect, it ain't bad at all, you know. As you see, what I got just some potatoes, some ribs, a biscuit, and rice. Um, I'll show you the BX, just stay tuned. I'm gonna eat this real quick, and get back right back at it. <laughs> takes all precautions. <laughs> detergents and smell goods you know for your room stuff to clean with your shower shoes so it's not big it's very small but like i said at least there's a bx you know at least you can get all these things you know you're in a deployed location and you're still able to shop for a <laughs> for a tv an hd tv you know <laughs> yeah so pretty cool let's get out of here before i get copyright off this music all right y'all 
there's mu not much left to show there's a flight line of course which every base almost has and then um i can't show you that but we got a pool on base it's closed down right now most things are just closed down because of the coronavirus so this is just in my time where i'm at in time everything can change throughout life you know things open up things get made things close down and it is 125 degrees out right now Whew. i am out of breath about to get heat exhaustion nah i'm playing but it is really 125 degrees out my phone keeps overheating it's one of the main reasons i keep having to cut it off so we're gonna go to the gym there's not much left to show uh if anyone plays hockey there's a little hockey rink here too but i don't know who plays hockey really and then there's also what's shut down it's called the drop zone it's where they have uh pool tables ping pong tables and where you can just relax they have a bunch of chairs and stuff where you can relax another thing is the chapel the chapel has massage chairs the chapel is also closed unless you're going there for actual religious stuff oh i just walked by the education center so that's nice i'll take you to the hockey rink real quick it's not really a hockey rink but this is where they play hockey at <laughs> not that bad not that bad Someone, <laughs> someone lost their little hockey thing. Whatever this is called. Oh, come at me. As you're seeing, the video cut off on me at the hockey ring because it was too hot. 125 degrees, I tell you. But this is the cardio room. So it has a bunch of bicycles, treadmills. You got a little fan over there, some bathrooms. Let's go to the main gym. <laughs> Dang, I look. And this is how swole you'll get if you get deployed. See how big I am? That's how big you'll get. <laughs> Let's go. All right, and we're at the main gym. Now, coming from Vegas, this is an all right gym because Vegas probably has the nicest gym in the Air Force. But this gym is actually pretty, pretty nice. Look at this. Here, let me flip the camera right quick. Look at this. So this is another, this is what replaced the basketball court. As you can see, this is a basketball court all the gym equipment and replaced it because I couldn't play basketball no more because of the coronavirus of course we got more bicycles over there some water some water now you got your weight room That's what it looks like all right got more got more treadmills so if you don't get swole while you're deployed, you're slacking because they got everything you need. Look at that, even the ab room. Another one. It's nice in here. It is very nice. That's enough of the tour. There's always more to see, but you see that when you get here. Right now, we're about to go on a little ride along with the security forces folks. Those are some cool guys, you know? And then afterwards, I'm gonna tell you about my experience, my whole experience, my day in the life. Uh, I'm gonna show you my work center. So stay tuned for that. Let's go on this ride along. <laughs> seen a glimpse of what we did with the security port now there's a reason of why they chase camels they are really hurting them to get them away from the flight line so they don't want them to get to the base because that's just not where they belong you know pretty fun i never actually got to experience that close with a camel i don't think i ever seen a camel before in real life until now so that's a pretty cool experience i'm back in my dorm about to head to work and um show y'all over there and then I'll talk about my actual experience 
a whole experience in my deployed life. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, this is it, y'all. We're at my workplace. So I'll first uh, show y'all the gym that we have at our work center. So we were blessed to have this because there was at a point in time where the gym actually closed. And right now, I didn't tell you, but when you go into the main gym, there's actually a 20 capacity of people that can work out at a time because, you know, the whole social distancing thing. Again, the pandemic, you know, coronavirus limits a lot of things it takes away a lot of things but let's uh show you our warehouse of what cargo comes in and out of and let me show you this little mini gym we have we have a little gym going on around here just take a little look at the bench set you know this is where you'll possibly work at you have the little artwork slaughterhouse i'll show you all the names of the people we called it the trap, our rotation, you know? Those are all the names. You see my name, A1C Nazari right there. It says July 2020. We got to change that to August 2020. Because <laughs> I ain't leaving until August, you know? It's been a big change. So, this is the warehouse. It's just what it looks like. Right, if we go over here, this is where <laughs> this is where the break room is. This first spot. So you'll get all this work in that material management, you know? <laughs> and I'm thirsty as heck, so let's get a little water real quick. Look at all that water, all that free water. Where are you, where are you gonna get free water at? <laughs> the Air Force being deployed. Nah, I'm deploying. But for real. Now we're gonna work or go into our customer service area. Look at all the computers. Go ahead and make all the jokes. Go ahead and make all the jokes right quick. All the computers, the chair for us, right? At a deployed location, sitting at a chair, right? <laughs> nah, but a lot of work gets done at these chairs for real. So this is it, y'all. This is where you can be possibly working if you're in the material management career field. So now that I showed you my workplace of what I come to every day, um, except one day out of the week. So let's let me tell you the schedule. You get one day off. Um, other than that, you're working every day. So six days a week, 12 hours a day. It's um, I can say it's very it, it was very tough. I'm not going to lie. It was uh, now I'll tell you my experience, though. So with going, working 12 hours a day, six days a week, there's just not a lot of time that you can uh, do personal stuff. Now, with that being said, um, this deployment was not bad. It wasn't a bad experience. It was actually a great experience. And the reason for that is the people that I met. Hard workers, great leaders, it's just overall great people, you know? I was learning every day and it's come to the end of my deployment and I just learned so much. And that's from all these guys that was I around, you know? Um, and we had people from all different sides of the world and coming together to do one process, you know? Not one process, but a mission. It was, it was, it was quite, quite an amazing experience. These guys and girls, whatever you want to say, they, they taught me a lot. The leadership we had was great. Um, and I made some long-term life, long friends. So the section I got put in, in the material management career field was equipment. So it was the EAE. And me or the team didn't know anything about this section coming into it. And we all learned together and conquered great things, you know? So it was quite an experience and a great one. And I ended up getting BTZ over here. Um, Airmen below the zone, that's when you rank up faster. You rank up six months earlier than you're supposed to um, due to what you achieve, you know. You're going against other people and they choose the best package. And I actually had uh, all, all help around write my package. So I'm very grateful for everyone who helped me and supported me on that. And now I, I, I'm leaving here with one stripe more awesome super grateful the leadership i had is like no other it was 
Oh my gosh, they, they were amazing. They participated in everything. They supported everything we did. And then when it really came down to business, they fought for us and they, they put our names out there. If we were doing great things, you know, they'll get on us if we were doing bad things or we weren't doing so great, you know, but, but we always try to push it, push it, push it, push it to the next level and just be great. So some things we did when um, I first got here, everything was open up. It wasn't too much of a hit of the coronavirus until like uh, February-ish. And that's when everything started closing. But to start it off, we did start with basketball. Uh, we had like a squadron basketball, flight basketball tournament. And um, it was getting good. Everyone was playing in the shop too, everyone. That's not, you don't see that often where everyone is playing and supporting playing or supporting, going to the games, whatever it is. That was that was pretty fun. We even had our own uh, jerseys or shirts uh, shipped out to us. They were, um, I Got Soul. It was actually the captains over here brand, so go look that up. Shout out to I Got Soul. Yep, I'll put the little at right here. Yep, look that up. And it unfortunately started to get too serious or real serious with the whole COVID, Corona pandemic. And everything started having to shut down. So they shut down the basketball court, but it's okay because that brought, brought us even more together. We're doing like um, cookouts, you know, or spending time watching a movie together. There's not so much you can do, but we, we made it work. And you gotta make the best out of every situation, you know? And all the restaurants closed around here. Um, pretty much almost everything closed except the barbershop. Uh, the DFAC was still open and all that stuff is free. Except the barbershop, you're paying like $7.25 a haircut, which isn't bad. Um, and there's this one barber over there called Robbie. So he said he was gonna be here for a while until, until he can't no more. So if you get deployed to Kuwait, <clears throat> Ask for Rob Robbie when you go to the barber shop and give let him give you a chop. He, he's really good. Now the restaurants they had over here that was unfortunately closed down due to COVID is Ollie's restaurant. It was like a little sandwich spot, like chicken wraps, stuff like that. You know, they had the green bean. It's kind of like a Starbucks for the military for deployed members. Uh, they had Subway. Everyone knows what Subway is. They had the Philly uh, steak. Philly cheesesteak spot, uh, Charlie's, Charlie's Philly steak. You, Charlie's, everyone knows Charlie's Philly steak, whatever it was called. They have that Charlie's here. That's all right. I like the strawberry lemonade over there. And then they had a, a Six Pozzies. So Six Pozzies was like an Italian joint where they had like pizza, spaghetti, things like that. It's pretty good. I liked it. And that's pretty much it. That's all the restaurants they had and all the restaurants that closed down. So. Pretty grateful for that. I didn't have to spend no money. Oh, so thirsty. It was quite an experience. Um, it is hot, it's very dry heat, so your skin gets very dry. So you probably need to get a moisturizer and that'll be real smart for, so your skin doesn't just fall off because it's so dry. Yeah, it's true. When I first got here, it was cold. So it does get hot and cold over here in uh, Kuwait. I didn't know what I was getting myself into, you know? I heard about the money, the money uh, you get paid more. You're not doing it for the money anyways. You're doing it to serve your country or whatever purpose you are doing it for. When that, that time comes that they say you are getting deployed, you gotta do it. This is what you signed up for, expect it. <laughs> now, as for, we did run into sandstorms. I never been in a sandstorm. So that was uh, pretty wicked and cool. It was very orange and yes, sandy. <laughs> it's a sandstorm. So that was awesome. On base, there's some cats to eat the mice because there's rats. <laughs> there's rats, there's mouse, um, there's scorpions. I haven't seen a rattlesnake, but I heard there's rattlesnakes. So, but just what I've seen is cats, rats, scorpions. And then in the dorms, in our workplace, uh, at the gym, mostly everywhere that you can go inside of, there's free Wi-Fi. So you can watch your movies, YouTube, whatever you want to watch, you can watch me. <laughs> That's amazing, you know. And a, and a big thing that really, really hit 
this rotation is we didn't know when we were coming home because of the coronavirus. Um, but we just had to stay positive and just keep moving, keep moving, right? This is what we signed up for, right? That's what they always hit us with, and that's what it is. It's true. So just got to stay positive and keep that ongoing mentality, and no one can stop you. With that being said, you can't leave base only for mission critical things. So I did leave base for one thing, and uh, it was to take some equipment down to another base. During that, I seen a lot of uh, uh, just just different people around the world that we have, and it was a quite a culture shock, you know, just the way they dress. They got the turbans all around them. Um, they all had masks on. It, it wasn't playing no games. Yeah, and another thing, all the women, there was no woman outside. So th that was another big culture shock. So I guess all the men um, worked and the woman had to stay at home. I didn't see not one woman when I went uh, off base to, to complete my mission. So that's a real culture shock. So let's talk a little bit about school, education, right? So I came here thinking I was gonna do all these classes and I just didn't have time for it. The section I worked with, the workload was just very high and I didn't have no time for school, really. Um, I did what I can, I, I completed one class and I got about six certificates done. Um, so you can do it. Don't, don't let me put you down or anything, you can do it. Every individual is different. I'm more of an in-person learner than an online learner, so that's what really messed me up. But uh, we're working 12 hours a day, six days a week. You get one off day. That real off day, you, you want to relax, you know? And I, I, I go to the gym, so after, after work, I'm going to the gym. I'm working 7 to 7 or whatever hour it is, 12 to 12, and then I'm going to the gym. I'm not just going to do school right after a 12 hour shift. I need to keep my body right. And then on my off day, of course, that's that's where you can do your school, but it takes a toll on you. And then the whole family part, yeah, you miss your family. I had to stay here an extra month, but it's all right. It's, it's what you gotta do. You get called for the time, you gotta do the time. It's what you signed up for, right? <laughs> but this overall experience, it's definitely life changing and an experience I'll never forget. Uh, I never thought I'd be on the other side of the world in this environment. Um, very sandy, desert-like, kind of like Vegas where I'm stationed at. I, I, I hope to one day I I meet these guys again and just reminisce a little bit. This, this was a long journey and a great one. So if I have any regrets about being deployed, I don't have any. Um, yeah, if the coronavirus didn't hit, things probably would have been better, but the people would have been still here. So, and that's really what made this appointment. I'm being so, so truthful, 100, for real. Keep it 100. I hope I covered everything. I'm sure this uh, conversation will come up again, the deployed life. And if y'all have any questions about being deployed, let me know. I'll, I'll answer them, I'll do a video on them. Whatever it is I can to help y'all, I will do. What I'm really hoping and praying that um, this corona, this COVID, um, this pandemic, it just gets better overall. People, um, they find a vaccine or a cure for it and we're just not as quarantined anymore to the, to the world, really. The world is quarantined and just hopefully it gets better. I hope I don't get in trouble for making this video. I'm just really trying to help everybody out that's uh, getting deployed and really showing that it's not as bad as people think. I, I'm, I was deployed during the coronavirus, you know. That's probably the worst time to be deployed. Uh, everybody at home is is working on and off, on and off, because they have to quarantine or teleworking because they can't make contact with people. And I'm, I'm deployed working six days a week, tw 12 hours a day, you know? And it's just it's just how it is. And, and I'm saying it's not that bad, so it ain't that bad. And I'm really just truthfully trying to help y'all out. So hopefully this video doesn't get reported or taken down. 
but if it if it does it is what it is um, I'm not trying to go against the regulations or whatever but don't forget subscribe like comment share all that stuff follow all my social media down in the description below please 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 comment on anything y'all y'all want to see want to know you got questions on anything comment on it i hope this video helped you out oh and let me know if it helped you out you know i, I like to know that i read every single comment y'all y'all don't think i read it i read it and I, another thing, I wish I could have made more videos out here. It was just like I said, it was not enough time. And I said that before I actually got on this deployment that I was going to continue to make video, but it just wasn't enough time. So I'm truthfully sorry for that. But I got some big things coming. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. <laughs>